this video I'm going to break some teeth so I'm going to do a strength test on that gear have a bucket holds eight liters of water putting the string to the spoke close to the teeth distance between here and here is the pitch diameter so here it's 72 and then i'm going to fill up this bucket with water and see how much it can hold and where it breaks let's do it It holds 8 kilos. I'm going to add another bucket of water and see where it breaks. Uh, this is past the strength limit. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 15 kilos it holds that tooth. That's quite impressive. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to do a second test. You can see the bucket is almost full, flat down bucket. It's my hook, my hook bent. So filling up the bucket. That's 17 liters of water, plus the bucket, 18 kilos. And it's not breaking yet, so the test is good. <laughs> Purely, plus is strong. So this gear broke with 18 kilos on the tooth. That's pretty impressive. That's much more than what I need for my new clock. That's the clock. It's going to have 1 to 6 ratio, 1 to 6, 1 to 6 between the drum and the escapement. So 3 times 1 to 6, that's going to be 1 to 216, the numbers here. So with the escapement going 1 revolution per minute, that's going to be 14400 for 24 hours. With the 216 ratio, I'm going to need 6.7 rotation for each 24 hours for a full day. This drum size and gear size is a good starting point for my new clock. Strength, I measured it by the, at the tooth, whereas the drum is only going to be that much closer to the center, so the torque is much smaller. So 18 kilos here, it means I can push, put 50 kilos on the string to break the teeth. So should be good. If the drum is 5 centimeters in diameter, that means 7 laps. That's going to be 1 meter drop of the weight for 24 hours. So, good starting point. And while I'm at gears, also tried cycloid gear with a 1.5 module. Works good and I'm going to be able to use this gear in the middle of the face of my new clock. That's the gear I use on the Galileo clock, powers by the drum. It's involute, 14.5 degree pressure angle. That's a cycloid clock profile with straight flank, module 2 profile I'm going to use in my new clock. The first stage I did this shifted and see the the flank are not quite straight, they're a little bit wider just to have a little bit more strength. Looks very similar. So here you go. So these are going to be the tooth profile I'm going to use in my new clock. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and so you don't miss the progress on my clock. Thank you for watching. Bye.